Hey guys, what's up? It's me. I'm here today to do the horoscope for the 17th and 18th of October for Scorpio because it's Scorpio moon time. Okay, this is kind of that little void and into, you know, again, a waxing stage. Okay, so starting to rebuild, starting to build on some of this passion. And, you know, if we've been learning a lot, we've been realizing a lot, hopefully, um, and so, yeah, let's just get into this. Okay. So hopefully things are going well for you or, you know, at least well enough in this time. I know just a lot of different things going on can be manifesting in so many different ways here. Okay. But we know that you have a passion here that is coming through. There's a highlight on our passion because we have Mercury, uh, sextile venus and we also have the moon sextile venus so our passion whatever we're really passionate about right now whatever we're in love with right now what if we love to do right now is highlighted whether you know that's the astrology or you know your love of this your love of that or your actual lover you know in real life um but it's going to be a time where things are just you know they, they might flow a little bit better than they have in the recent past okay because we're losing a lot of you know i mean we still have sun opposite mars okay people it's like the moodiness the i'm gonna be right i am right is not is not going away but we have we're realizing there's a bigger picture there's a higher reason um, it's not personal. So again, taking the higher logic, the higher reasoning, um, staying in your higher mind, you know, why you're discussing, why you're getting your points across is so important. You know, we can be extremely dedicated, extremely enthusiastic, you know, without losing our cool. And because if we lose our cool, we devalue our whole message. Okay. So there is this kind of go with the flow again things are going to flow like our our inner feelings um are kind of going to be going along you know we're going to it's going to be just things are going to be you're going to be able to go along swimmingly pursue your your passions swimmingly okay and think about and talk about communicate about your passions with the again the moon and mercury sextile venus okay so Again, make sure that, again, I feel like this year needs to have taught us things. And I think giving back is so important in some way, shape, or form. Um, it comes up, but it, make, it, it makes your intentions pure. And it keeps you focused, you know, on, on things. And it is good to help you find your passion. You know, as always, ask yourself, how can I help? Where can I start? How can I possibly help right now okay so we do have the moon conjunct mercury okay so the way you know again that we're feeling and the way that we're thinking although at sometimes you know it's like we're thinking about our passion and you know certain things are going swimmingly but uh, you know there's this potential you know for things to you know possibly possibly be uh, you know, in a situation where people are messing up, you know, and it's obvious that you judge them or that you're being overly judgmental as well. Okay. Possibly even of yourself. Okay. That happens a lot, especially with our Venus and Virgo. Okay. So the Mercury that we have in Scorpio, especially being Scorpio, you know, and having those already analytical tendencies, you know, again, watch out for not having to be that perfectionist all the time, not having to just force things and make things work all the time, you know, the way that you want them to. Because again, when you kind of give it up again to a higher power of some sort, whatever that would mean for you, you know, even just saying, I'm letting, you know, letting this go is so powerful. Okay. Knowing that we can't control everything. Okay, and it allows us to kind of have this more laid, fun vibe than we have in a little while, I think, with, again, 
this all the sex out Venus energy. So it is a time to kind of relax and have fun, but it's also a time to still reflect, you know, on who we are, what we're doing, what our what our points are, what our, our talking points are, what our um, you know, what our messages are. Okay. And your messages are going to be directly related to your emotional frequency. So always watch out for that and always be looking for ways, you know, to raise your energy. And we talk about this in the Twin Flame Socks playlist and the Mood Boosters video. Lots and lots of ideas, you know, on how to get that energy up. Because it is important, especially before you do important things. Okay? Like initiate conversations or, you know, whatever. Okay? Get that energy up before you do anything, anything worth, worthwhile at all, okay? So, okay, we kind of talked about this run opposite Mars a little bit, but let's go ahead and pull a card. So we have the Fool card, okay? So this Fool card is really in touch with the transformative side, I feel like, you know, where you're almost able to see it right in front of your very eyes, right in front of your face, okay? But there's, you know... Again, we might be still getting kind of emotional and that's always going to throw you off if your emo, you know, if your emotional side of your subconscious hasn't been kind of dealt with, so to speak. And the way we do that, of course, is by the shadow work and the inner child healing, okay? And the holistic law of attraction, all of which are in my program down below. Check it out. In the box, in the box, okay? So, this to me just speaks of this underlying energy that we have like things are changing we know it and things are not only changing in new beginnings but it's going to be long-term change here okay and big humongous you know kind of day of a reckoning and it again it does matter what we're bringing to the table because we judge we automatically judge ourselves as we judge others so and vice versa so you know when you forgive yourself you're able to forgive others and vice versa. Okay. It's all, you know, if you want to help other people in this world, you have to help yourself first. Okay. You can't keep on putting yourself last is what came up for some people here in this reading. Okay. Maybe not everybody's fully doing that, but some of us are. Okay. So just don't necessarily try to push change in the external, in your actions and your habits right away. You've got to really make change first. In the inside and that's what this is going with and just jumping in and saying you know what I'm gonna really commit to this and I'm gonna do again the inner child healing and all of this stuff uh, so many cards trying to come out okay there's a lot of a lot of energy that gets in us and we get repressed and we don't know what's going on in our subconscious okay but shadow work is a great start so check out the playlist and again, the box down below. Okay, so for this week, guys, for this for this couple of days, excuse me, you know, again, it's stick close to this passion. Your inner needs are going to be kind of naturally kind of meshing. Your mind might be getting in the way. So don't necessarily, you know, let your feeling, I feel like our, our heart and our mind are going to be in a bit of a tussle, okay? But sticking to your passion can kind of help. A little bit okay it, it can help keep your mental on track too okay it's really important so one last uh, aspect we do have is the Venus in conjunct Mars so again it's like keep your head down focus on your work here focus on your passion focus on what you love focus on your inner healing to help discover your passion to help further your passion to help you you know again have these awakenings and everything we have is a relationship I always say, you know, we have a relationship with money, we have a relationship with, you know, in your relationship with yourself and your parents and, you know, the universe really sets a tone for all of the rest of the relationships that you have in your life. So it's really important, the energy that you're bringing on a daily basis, and that's always going to be that subconscious bubbling up because you can't stay on your guard and like force yourself to think all these good, you know, thoughts and helpful thoughts all the time. You're going to fall back to what is naturally there. That's what the subconscious is. That's why it's so important to go as deep as you can with the shadow work right now, especially if you've never done it before. Jump in or if you feel particularly stuck, just go 
and do more shadow work. And again, got a playlist on it, so check it out. Much love, many blessings. Take care. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.